In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the best run defense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that have never been to my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level in Madden NFL 21. I do that through tips like this that you're going to break down, tactical tips, uh, full scheme breakdowns. We've got a, a scheme coming out of Atlanta this week, so we've been doing a free scheme that way. Uh, we've also got just standard different money play breakdowns, film studies, all that fun stuff. So um, if you're interested in getting better at Madden, what I want to encourage you to do right now is go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right of your screen. All right, so what we're talking about today is run defense. Now, I've been getting a lot of messages about this. And here is um, here is what I believe to be the best run defense. All you're going to do is you're going to go to auto line, you're going to put on a man line, ball in air defense, play ball, option defense, make sure that's on conservative, that's going to help with the run. Tackling, I like to put it on aggressive. It can be balanced. It's not that big of a deal. Zone drop flats, you want these to be at um, – I like to put these at 20 yards, zone drop curl flats, I like to put these at zero yards, and then zone drop hooks, I like to put those at about 10 yards. Okay, so that's the basic uh, coaching adjustment settings that I like to have. Now, the defense we're going to specifically focus in on for today is if you have someone like Grady Jarrett that has inside stuff, you want to put him at the nose guard. You don't have to have inside stuff to run this. It does make it a little bit more effective, though. Uh, and the defense we're going to be going over is cover two man from nickel three through five wide. Now, this is going to stop every basic run that you're going to face, uh, bar none. I mean, it, 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 truly, I think this is the best run defense in the game. So literally, here's my adjustments. So you're going to come out of cover two man. Now, you're going to uh, – you're already man aligned, so you're just going to press coverage. You're going to shade coverage to the outside. You're going to shade coverage over the top. Then what I like to do is I like to – pinch my defensive line you don't have to do that you can just leave them straight and i do like to crash them down and i will typically qb contain on the outside and my responsibility on this play as you can see here is circle now for the best run defense you want to take your safeties and you want to put them in quarterback spies and what you're going to see here in stretch my job is to contain that edge and as you see there we're able to stop the stretch for negative one yard i'll show you this again uh, to the right so press coverage Shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, in that order. You want to spy both of your safeties, um, and then you're going to use her, uh, the middle linebacker here. And I like to crash my line down. Now what you're going to see is you're going to see stretch left. It's probably a little bit better to the left side, as you can see here. Though these safeties are going to come down, and they're going to be able to make a stop. The reason nickel 335 is so good is because you get these wide angles here on the linebacker. So sometimes what I will do is I will actually spread the linebacker so that they get a little bit more wide um, against the offense. Then you're going to pinch your line. You have that. But also when you press coverage, it brings these safeties into a little bit closer, allows them to play in the box. Spying your safeties has really been the key that we discovered last year's game and has carried over into this year's game as one of the better ways to stop the run. Now, what about the quick dive? Well, you're just going to run straight down. And as you can see there, he ends up getting a little bit more yardage. Um, but typically, typically what's going to happen, at least in my perspective, this year's game what I've been seeing happen a lot is I have been seeing inside stuff ability be able to, to take care of this. I've also been able to shoot the gap with my user. So I'm just going to run straight down. And as you see there, it just it, it, it's muddy. It's muddy. Dive is probably going to be the thing that they have the best uh, fortune with. But all in all, um, you're going to have some success, especially if you have good user in the middle of the field with this linebacker. When you can blow this up right here in the backfield, you see that I can just run right straight through and blow that dive up in the backfield. So that's dive left. Let me show you, or dive right. Let me show you dive left. Because dive left is actually a possibility of facing this this year because of the fact that they have changed how the handoff animations work. And if you really want to stop everything, I would just go ahead and globally blitz. I mean, you go ahead and uh, just globally blitz your linebackers. But anyway, what you'll see here, snap the ball, dive left. I'm just going to run straight through. And as you can see, we're able to get uh, contain on him. Now, what about uh, toss uh, or what about uh, toss right or toss left? So those, uh, those runs against this defense, I feel like I feel very confident, especially when you do the QB contain. What you see here is a quick toss to the left side. I'm just going to get out here with my user. Uh, there we had a little bit bad user stick. But with toss, you just want to get out there and contain. The safeties are going to be flowing to the inside of every running play. And so your primary job as, an, or as, a, uh, as a user is to get outside and contain. So here you see the safeties come in, and i got to get outside and make the play on the toss. 
as you see there, toss is going to tend to be that toss is going to be the best play that they can run uh, on you. Now, if you put your safeties in, in flat zones, you'll see against this toss, snap of the ball, they're going to flow out to the wide side, and now he's able to make that play. What I personally really suggest doing against toss, and that's why you want to have um, your linebackers spread, you want to have QB contains on. The QB contains are going to be improved here shortly uh, against the toss run specifically. But what you'll see is you also want to make sure to pass commit. If you pass commit, you're going to see they're going to get upfield more. And you see how they're able to stop that toss. That one little adjustment by pass committing, my line, my guys are going to do what they're supposed to do a little bit more effectively on the running uh, running defense. Not a lot of people are talking about that. And most of the tip videos I see, people aren't talking about the importance of pass committing on every play um, because it makes your players run it makes them go do their assignment as soon as the play is over they don't wait to try to read and react um, that's why i like to pass commit personally but yeah that's that's run defense and we'll show you here toss toss weak to the left side here you'll see this time they shoot out was able to get five there but typically with good user i'm, I'm trying to do two controllers right now but typically with good, with a good user, um, let's bring those guys back in, let's bring those linebackers out. And you can even, if they're killing you with the toss, you might not want to pinch your line. But most of the time, you're going to see this toss is going to be shut down by those wide contains if you pass commit. So... Anyways, guys, that's how to stop the run in Madden 21. Uh, if you have questions about run defense, leave them in the description of this video. This defense is a starting point. Obviously, there's more elements to it. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a future video today. But um, for those of you guys that are new to my YouTube channel, maybe you're looking to stop the run, and that's how you found this video. One of the things I do want to encourage you to do, I post four times a day on YouTube. Uh, I also stream every single night on YouTube, and I also have a Discord. Now, Discord is basically... It's a round table. It's a community. It's a it's a space where you can not only meet me, but you can meet 300 plus of my closest Madden friends, right? Um, it's a great place to be able to talk Madden, be able to lab together as a community, be able to share and do all that. So if you're looking for a good community, if you're looking for a place to um, get better, I think that Discord will really help you because it's helped me a lot. And you're the average of the five people that you associate with most, right? So when you join the Discord, you're automatically going to be surrounded by better Madden players, and that is going to make you a better player, especially if you're engaging every day, chatting in the community, talking to people. That's going to help you get really, really good at the game. we got people in there sharing free tips, free schemes all the time. So be sure to join that Discord community. I'd really appreciate it, and I think it would really help you as well. Some videos are going to come up on the screen here. Um, that you can check out and we will see you guys in our next YouTube video that will be uploaded probably within a couple hours.